Hey, what is good, my fellow warriors of light? Lotus Moon here, bringing you guys another Mobius Final Fantasy video. So it's been a while, um, and I want to start off by saying I apologize for not uploading any new videos this past week. Um, it's due to a couple of reasons. Uh, one being that, you know, I do work a full-time job outside of this, and I've just been really busy with work. Um, I am not a professional YouTuber. I do this for fun and on the side, so I do try to upload videos anytime I can. Um, although, you know, sometimes it is hard for me. So I apologize for that. Um, although, another reason why I did not make any videos this past week is because the last video I made was an early April calendar uh, review on all the events. So when we got the official April calendar, it wasn't really anything new I haven't already mentioned in my previous video, so I didn't feel like a, a need to make that video right away. Um, although I do want to still cover the information in it since um, I didn't want to go into a little bit more detail about the jobs we were getting this month and also multiplayer. So uh, that's what I'm going to be bringing you in this video today. Um, I am off this weekend, so look forward to... Uh, a couple of videos being posted in the next couple of days. Um, I'm going to start off a series of multiplayer advice videos for you guys on each of the roles. So you guys can bring your A game um, to 4 star Sicarius Battles. Um, it's a request I gotten from a few people on my viewers already. So it's something I've been wanting to make. It's just that multiplayer is a completely different beast from single player. So um, it is kind of hard to talk about it. Um, in depth uh, without showing you guys but I, I will be making those videos for you um, starting with the attacker role so uh, I'll be I'll be starting with attacker and how best to um, to bring uh, what you need to bring for your uh, as far as a card lineup and everything so so anyway, let's get into the video here um, I want to start off by going over quickly the the official calendar we got um, the calendar we got was kind of bullshit because it didn't include some of the items which we already knew about from the Taiwanese stream, uh, live stream, um, spoilers, so. Anyway, we already got April 4th, the solo limit break event, and, um, honestly guys, I haven't even, I haven't even started, um, I haven't even, I haven't even went to this region yet. And it's for a couple of reasons. For one, um, this is kind of just like a rehash of the collective limit break event we got last year. Um, now, if you didn't, if you weren't playing when we had the collective limit break event, uh, this is this is gonna be new content for you guys. But for me, it's nothing new. Um, you know, I will eventually get to it to get the items. Uh, but it is a good region to grind up some abilities for your uh, cards, especially the especially the da the main target focused AOE cards. So. If you're a new player, this is definitely a good region to get some some card fodder. Um, so, you know, I will, I'll eventually get to this. I'm not sure if I'll make a video about the solo limited break. Just because there's not much to talk about, but... Anyway, and so... One of the main things we got this month is a new legend job. The Heretic Knight. So I want to go over his stats a little bit with you guys. Uh, let's see here. That's right here. So, in my previous video, um, I mentioned that I wasn't too excited for this job. Now, it's not because it's a bad job. This is, this is a good, this is a strong legend job. It's, it, it, it definitely is. It's, it's a good job, but for me personally, I'm not excited about it um, for a couple reasons. The main reason is I'm not a fan of the defender role in multiplayer or defender jobs in general. You know, it's... It's my least favorite. Um, it's my least favorite uh, role in multiplayer and in single player. Um, it's just kind of. I mean, you have high survivability, but I mean, I like I like damage output more. You know, I like to deal high amounts of damage, and this guy is has very low magic, so it's not really a job I'm gonna be rolling for. Um, the other reason why I'm not excited for this job is because. At this point in time, in our current stage of the game, in just a few months, we're going to be getting what I like to consider like the godly tier of legend jobs. Um, the first one we're probably going to be getting is the Zidane, uh, the Zidane legend job. 
and it's gonna be a kick-ass breaker. And then after that, of course, you know, the Final Fantasy XIII Legend jobs, which all of them are amazing. You know, um, Night of the Goddess, uh, Snow, uh, Fa- um, Hope, um, all of them are just super strong. So in comparison, um, at this point in time, you know, I'm just, I'm not super excited about uh, this Heretic Knight job. Um, it is good. It is a very good defender. Um, and the last reason why I'm not excited about this job is because, really, I don't want to spend resources rolling for him, um, because there's just no good card event banner out right now, you know? We have the Final Fantasy Record Keeper bullshit going on right now, and, you know, I'm a, I've been playing this game since the beginning, so I have all the Final Fantasy Record Keeper cards from the first batches, so for me, you know, there's little incentive to spend resources trying to roll for just him especially since we don't have a supreme card to roll for right now um, now there is speculation that we will be getting neo x death supreme card this month so once that comes out maybe be a better time to roll for him but honestly guys i you know i'm i'm already kind of pissed off about the whole file fantasy record keeper event so i'm just i'm not really going to be spending any resources this month um you know, hopefully get get it through the developers' heads that, hey, you know, you can't keep this gacha bullshit with us, so. But anyway, we got off topic there a little bit. Let's get into the job. So, like I said, this job is actually pretty strong. Um, its solo evaluation is 85 points, and its multiplayer evaluation is 94 points. So, uh, 85 and 94 are both very strong evaluation points, um, and his, like I said, his multiplayer role is Defender, so his main job is going to be a, being a kick-ass defender. And also his weapon is pretty kick-ass. So it looks sweet. Um, it's a good weapon for being a defender. It gives you extra defense. So um, he is a good good job to have. Um, strong points being, like I said, high durability. Um, he's going to have super high HP, super high defense. Um, and he also has some really good um, auto abilities to reduce your damage. So... Also, his, uh, like I said, his weapon, the True Blood Anchor, is going to provide you four defensive stars. Um, and it, it just says here that if you equip it to the Paladin or to himself, uh, you can have super high defense, becoming up to 10 stars, reducing your damage by 50%. So, yes, very strong defender. Also, his his ultimate move um, has super high break power. So that that's gonna be really useful also in multiplayer um, as a defender. You know, it's it's nice to help out in breaking the bosses. You know, you know it. Being a breaker, you have a you have a lot of responsibility in breaking the enemies. So whenever another another one of your teammates can help out with that, it really it really speeds up the process. So uh, definitely a good idea to save your ultimate if you have high break power to help break the the red gauge. Uh, weak points, uh, like I mentioned, you know, this guy has really low magic. Um, and like I said, for me personally, my playstyle, I like high damage classes. Um, you know, honestly, like all the content we've gone so far, I really haven't felt a need that, hey, I need a really beefy job because I'm dying too much. No, most of the content, I just blow through it because I'm so, I'm so strong, you know. So that's why I'm not really excited about high high defense jobs i mean they're they're good in like battle towers and stuff but anyway it's recommending that you bring a moogle or knights it around to try to boost your magic up which is a good idea um like i said you know top notch defender uh this is gonna be pretty much the best defender we have in the game besides paladin and this is gonna be our first defender with the dark element so this is gonna be the definitely the, the defender of choice to bring for anima uh, Sakaris battles so definitely if you have them bring them to anima you know we we need you we definitely need we need a defender that can drive drive uh the dark orbs so uh let's get more into his stats here so you have two element types to choose from uh element one being fire wind and earth and element two being dark wind and earth so obviously i would recommend choosing element type two because um, being a defender and having access to dark is really good. And also he's going to have extra bonus damage to dark element anyway. <coughs> the 
Now his weapon, Blood Anchor, no doubt, guys, it's a kick-ass looking weapon. I love, I love the looks of it. I mean, it looks, it looks badass. It's probably one of my favorite parts about this job, this sweet looking weapon. Um, as far as the evaluation of it, it's a little bit weaker in the multiplayer evaluation for some reason. Um, like I said, there, there, there are better weapons for you out there. Um, even the new multiplayer weapon is going to be better, really. But this is a kick-ass weapon. It has some good um, auto abilities, so let's just go over that really quickly. Um, so yes, it does have... Um, it says here, uh, fighting special move gauge, uh, skill gauge plus three... Um, I'm not sure what this lastly element plus 5 means, so if you have this weapon already, leave in the comments what are the actual um, translated auto abilities for us. Um, I could look them up, I guess, but I, I, I just don't care enough to really spend time talking about it. Other than this is a pretty decent weapon, um, and it is definitely cool looking. So, um, yeah, like I said here, it does come with seven stars of defense, which is amazing. Um, coupled with a high defensive weapon, you're going to get that 10 stars of defense or more. Um, his auto abilities, uh, he has clutch boost, clutch barrier, and clutch wall. All very strong uh, all very strong auto abilities to have as a defender. He's going to have enhanced dark damage by 75%. So, like I was saying earlier... You're going to want to use the dark variant of this job to get the extra damage because he needs it. Um, he does have some defense to wind and earth, 20% uh, each, and an extra 40% dark uh, tolerance. So uh, that's why I said this guy's going to be the best in the, the Anima Sicarius battle. So definitely bring him for that. Um, now one thing to mention here that I really like is the the defensive resistance down resistance. Um, 100%. So he cannot have his defense lowered, which is which is something that a lot of enemies will try to do to you, especially in like tower events. So this is going to be very good. Um I hate getting my defense my defense lowered. So this is this is very this is really good all ability for sure. Um it says here that this gives 20% HP recovery upon battle victory. So we have battle victory recovery already on a few jobs, but those I believe are only 10%. So this job, you'll get extra um, battle victory HP recovery. 20% uh, is, is a good amount, so also really good to stay alive. So overall, this is a very strong job. Um, it's a good legend job, no doubt. Um, just for me, I'm not going to be trying to roll for him, which I already explained why. Um, but if you guys have him, I hope you guys are having a great time. I mean, he, he does look pretty kick-ass, so... Anyway, April 6th... Um, we already got the 4-star Sicarius Odin, which I have been having a blast, guys. I have been spending all my time on Mobius in multiplayer. Um, just grinding up all these, um, you know, uh, new new uh, new items you can get for. So, uh, definitely, uh, this is why I'm going to be starting my, my series of multiplayer advice videos. So, April 8th, which is today. Uh, it's Happy Mobius Day, as of course. So... Definitely gotta be taking advantage of the extra elix uh, double elixirs. April 13th, we're gonna get the four star Ifrit Sicarius battle. April 17th, we're gonna get this nice collaboration between Terra Battle and Mobius. Um, I'll talk more about that event in the future, uh, but we'll have some four star fast learner cards. Um, you know, I'm not super excited, but it it will be fun. You know, at least it's something new, not like the not like the solo limit break. Um, event which is kind of boring to me uh, and we're also going to be getting the, the, la the light and dark mage cards for of course you know it occultist or oculus however you want to pronounce it um, I think it's occultist um, so let me talk about this job really quick so this mage job is going to be very strong and I'm super excited for this um, he looks awesome anyway but since this is just a normal job and not a legend job, this will be available to all players. Um, especially like for me, I have I have pulled almost you know the majority of the jobs in the job pool, so I'm uh, I have a higher chance to get this guy. Um, I will probably be trying to roll for him. Uh, I'll have probably a pretty high chance to get him, 
but um, it, I'm kind of you know, eh, I'm I'm debating if I want to spend the resources this month or not. But his evaluation is very high, um, 88 points in solo player and 90 points in a multiplayer. And his multiplayer role is attacker, uh, which is perfect for him because he does have very high damage. So strong points, it just says here, you know, he has he has this really good auto ability that um, gives you bonus damage to weakness elements, which is awesome. So, um, you know, he's really good at that. Also, the auto, the, the chain element damage. Um, he does have 100% strengthening to three of his main elements, uh, plus his high magical power. He's going to give you that really high damage. Uh, and this is here, his his ultimate is also very strong. Weak points, of course, he doesn't have any defense and he doesn't have any elemental tolerance. So he is going to be a little bit squishy, but he does have high HP. So it's recommending here that you bring something like Hellgate or something else to raise his defense which is not a bad idea, I guess, you know. I, I you know, you can always use some other cards, but... Um, yeah, it's just saying he's a really good all-around attacker. Um, not much to talk about there. Um, he has two element types, just like the other job. Um, you can choose between water, earth, and dark, or water, earth, and wind. So obviously I'm going to recommend the dark element variant because that's what he's going to have the extra 100%... Um, elemental strengthening too. Now his weapon, his main weapon, is a very good mage weapon. And if you don't have a good mage weapon yet, um, this one will definitely be worth the boosting if you if you choose to do so. It is rated, uh, it's a double A weapon, so it's definitely worth your boosting time if you don't have a good mage weapon already. Um, I've pretty much spent a lot of my, my time boosting up my... Um, my mythic sage weapon, so I, you know, I, I will probably try to boost this one also, but um, it is really good weapon though, if you don't have a good one already. Let me just go over its auto abilities really quick. It does have um, prismatic orb appearance, 15%, uh, break damage up 20%, special special move level up plus one, and deadly gauging, uh, deadly gauge fighting technique gauge up plus 2%. So very good auto abilities. Um, it's definitely a plus to this job if like I said if you don't have a good mage weapon yet this is definitely one you will want to get for sure um so let's see yeah so he has no stars for defensive power um let's go over his auto abilities really quick so he has heal drives which I always love in a in any kind of job he has heal drives to his main three elements water earth and darkness and he has 100% strengthening to water, earth, and dark. So, like I said, very strong attacker. He has clutch faith and clutch regen. Uh, both very good auto abilities to have when you're in um, low, on, low on HP. Now, he does have the uh, chain ability uh, plus 30%, which is great for damage. And also, like I mentioned earlier, weak point damage up 50%. So, if you're using the element opposite to your... To your uh, to your enemy, he will get 50% extra damage, so that is a huge boost to his damage for sure. Um, his break, his uh, death blow, his ultimate, pretty strong. And if you're trying to level him up, he's mostly going to be dark and light uh, skill seats. So um, before this guy comes out, you might want to farm up some extra dark and some extra... Uh, water for him um, to eight star to eight panel him out immediately. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about this job. Uh, like I said, a very strong, very strong mage job, and this is probably one job I'm gonna want to try to get. April eighteenth, we're getting another Mobius Day, of course. April twentieth, we're getting the four star Sicarius Anima. April twenty first, we got another Battle Tower. Uh, this one's called Aggr Aggregate Aggression. So, um, this is going to be featuring pretty much all the past tower bosses, such as Gilgamesh and um, that stupid that stupid octopus guy and all that. So, might be might be fun, you know. Another battle tower. Uh, April 27th, we're having the four-star Sicarius Shiva. And then April 28th, of course, is going to be Mobius Day. So... 
kind of a disappointing month, I would say. Um, the main interesting thing this month to me is going to be the multiplayer and the custom skill panels. So that that is definitely a, a plus this month. I don't know why they decided to leave out custom skill panels in the calendar when it came out, but regardless, uh, we already have it anyway. Um, now, the custom skill panels, you know, in case you don't know, you can load yourself up with the free, the free panels, okay? So, every job you have, you have infinite of the HP plus 20, attack plus 3, break power plus 3, magic plus 2%. And we have 99 of the enhanced heal drives and 99 of the uh, EXP up 1%. So until you have better skill panels, just go ahead and load yourself up on um, these free ones. It's better than nothing. I mean, at least you'll get a boost to your, you know, one of these stats. Um, so that's what I did. Um, now, I, I'm going to address the elephant in the room here. I do have Ignis. So... You guys are probably wondering, wow, what, you know, what happened, Lotus Moon? I thought you didn't get him. Well, <sighs> you know, guys, after I made that video, um, like I said, I really wanted Ignis, and it's just, it's such a powerful card, guys. Uh, it is, it's been blowing my mind how how strong this card is. So, especially for um, against Shiva, this rapes Shiva. I'm not even joking. I mean, with the attack power 1380 and being multi strike um, overkill, it's this card, to me, is almost on par as a Supreme card. Of course, it's a little bit weaker, but, I mean, for for a regular card, this card is just so strong. So, um, I did spend, uh, I did do, what was it, like, three or four more rolls um, to get this card. I took your guys' advice. Um, I traded in my Celest uh, Celestriads for some more summon tickets. Um... Just because I really, I really wanted to get that card, um, and it's been kick-ass. So when I do my, um, when I do my multiplayer attacker role um, advice video, uh, I will be using this job here, and you get to see the full power of Ignis. Um, like I said, this this mythic sage. I mean, look at the magic I have on him. Uh, Nine hundred and sixty-seven percent magic. Uh, on top of some amazing extra abilities. I mean, look at this. Painful Break, 75%, Exploit Weakness, 40%, Improved Critical Damage, 82%, Attune Chain, plus 32%. Um, so this guy is just a beast in terms of damage. I mean, I've, I've seen like other jobs use Ignis, and they just don't even come close to my damage. Um, it's just, you know, I've seen like Titus can use Ignis, um, White Mage can use it, but honestly, the Mystic Sage is going to be your best your best uh, class to use it. Of course, you know, this is um, a legendary job, so a lot of people don't have him, which is understandable, but anyway, um, it's been a it's been a great card, guys. Um, hope If you guys have it, I hope you've been enjoying it as much as I have. So, um, anyway, one of the best parts about this update, too, has been now they changed, um, changed this uh, NPC name to officially uh, Mia. Which is great. I mean, she's not wearing her cloak anymore, and you can now see that nice, nice body of hers. Those nice boobs. So that is one good thing about this uh, event, at least. And um, let me just kind of go over the things we can get inside the item exchange. So you can get as many skill seeds as you have items for, which is great. Um, that's why I've been trying to focus mostly on the multiplayer. Uh, because you can exchange these items for as many skill seeds as you want. It's not, it is a limited availability, but um, for now you can get as many as you need um, through exchange. Um, especially the skill coin 3 is going to be really good. Um, now, this weapon here, I do want to talk about it a little bit. It is, it is easy to acquire. It only takes a few claws or a few armors, but you, then you have to uh, level it up. Um, but it is a very good weapon. If you don't have a good uh, warrior weapon yet. So, um, this weapon is a double A rated weapon. So, being that you can get it for free uh, through multiplayer quest, uh, I highly suggest you get it just to have it. Um, and it definitely has some very good auto abilities. Um, HP plus, 20, plus 
You get um, extra four orbs on your third hit. Uh, prismatic prismatic orb appearance plus 20%, which is amazing, and a uh, special move. Your ultimate uh, level up plus one. So very good weapon. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting it. Um, I'm not as excited about this weapon as the other multiplayer weapons, uh, simply because we have we have a lot of good warrior weapons already available to us, such as Buster Sword, uh, Masamune, um, even, you know, um, the Titus weapon is very good, obviously. So we have a lot of good weapons available to us. Um, Braveheart X, uh, exceptional weapon. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be personally using this weapon that much, but um, it is a good weapon to have, um, especially for you guys that don't have any of the other uh, rare uh, warrior weapons. So definitely a good weapon to have. Now, before I forget, um, there is one thing I wanted to mention. I wanted to talk a little bit more briefly about the Final Fantasy Record Keeper event. So as you know... Um, it is bullshit how they're giving it to us in the gacha. And um, I, am, I am upset about this, guys. I mean, the amount of resources they're asking us to use for a chance to get one of these many cards is ridiculous. Um, I mentioned about that last video, and I was hoping they would change it, but they didn't. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really sad for you guys. And... I know there's been a lot of discussion online about how useful the Final Fantasy Record Keeper cards are now, and honestly, they're all they're all very good and relevant. It's just that they are not absolutely needed at this stage of the game because we have alternate options, and that's the main point. To me, these all these cards are very good, and they are worth getting if it wasn't for this bullshit gacha event. So, uh, and you know, um, I just want to mention one of my uh, subscribers what he said to me in a post here. Um, hey Lotus, we're starting a strike on purchasing Magicite and I was wondering if you could spread the word to the other YouTubers and viewers so hopefully the marketing team can be can stop being dicks. So, you know, I want to... I, I, you know, for me, I, I do agree with this. I'm not going to be spending Magicite this month, uh, really. Not really to protest that much, but just there's not anything really interesting to me to buy this month anyway but i am i am supporting that if you guys are mad about how they're treating us as far as these event cards you know that's fine i i i support you guys um you know don't don't spend money on this game um because we're not getting really they're, they're asking too much for us really and um you know i will be supporting you guys i'm not gonna be spending hardly I, I might make a small purchase, but I'm not going to be buying much at all um, this month. So, I uh, definitely agree with that. Um, but guys, you know, don't don't get mad and, don't get mad and quit the game because of it. Um, let's face it, this game is an amazing game. And there's really not that many great games on the market right now. Um, I mean, there are a few, but this is among one of the best I've seen and... You know, it's a free game. Enjoy it. You know, you don't need any of these cards to be good at the game. Just, you know, just take the free content. You know, all the free jobs are perfectly strong enough. And, you know, just be happy. You know, just, you know, stop the hate. You know, I, I hate seeing all this negativity in the community. I think, I think it's destroying our community, honestly. All this salt and all this anger. You know, guys, it's, it's just a game. It's for fun. Let's enjoy the game. If you don't support the way they're giving us cards, then don't buy money. Don't don't spend your money, you know? Treat it as a free game and, you know, fuck this event. Just ignore it. Um, we have multiplayer four-star Sicarius battles, so, you know, just take what they give us for free and hopefully um, they'll see a decline in their revenue and they'll change their ways. I'm hoping, you know... So that's, that's really all I want to talk about that, um, besides one other thing. So as far as the FFRK cards are concerned, like I said, they are all very good, but um, they're nothing that we absolutely have to have. So, for example, um, we have the FFRK taunt cards, right? Now, the taunt cards themselves are rated 80 of 100 in Japan, 
And there is not that many cards in general that give taunt. But as you can see here, um, there are going to be some more cards that give us taunt that we will be getting in the near future. So if you're a defender and you're worried I don't have any taunt cards, don't worry. We're going to be getting some more taunt cards in the future. So you should see here like Jupiter, Titania. All these cards here have a single target taunt and they are all very good. Um, pretty much just as good as the FFRK card. So just hang on guys. Um, you don't have to have the FFRK taunts. Uh, we will be getting other ones in the future. And of course, uh, if you have Gladiolus, um, it's just the best taunt in the game, period. So that's one thing I thought I'd mention. Um, but the, all the FFRK cards are very strong. So it's up to you if you want to try to get them. I, I don't recommend spending any resources on it, though. So um, that's really all I want to talk about in this video. Um, it's already pretty long. Um, look forward to my next video talking about multiplayer. And I'll see you guys next video.